Hey there Jaguars, welcome back. After a bye week last week, the Jaguars are taking on the Starkville Yellow Jackets. Both teams remain undefeated to this point, but the Jaguars have the difficult task of taking on a Starkville team who has not lost at home in 42 games. Coach Collum says that they're putting an emphasis on limiting big plays and securing the ball offensively. The Jaguars received the kick to start off the game and steadily made their way down the field, striking first with a rushing touchdown after a six-minute opening drive. The Yellow Jackets opening drive went very differently, ending in a punt which Madison Central took all the way inside the five-yard line of Starkville, setting up an easy rushing touchdown to put the Jags up 14-0. Madison Central was doing everything Coach Collins was looking for. Defensively, the Jaguars were strong, holding the Starkville offense to a single touchdown in the first half. And offensively, Madison Central looked calm and collected, protecting the ball well and heading into the locker room up 21-7. Starkville received the ball to start the second half and quickly set the pace for the rest of the game, driving down the field and scoring to put the Jackets in striking distance at 21-14. The woes only continued from there as the Jaguars struggled to get anything going offensively, with their only points in the second half coming off of an 80-yard touchdown reception by Isaiah Spencer that reestablished the Jaguar lead at 28-21. However, the Jaguars could not hold on, giving up two more touchdowns in the last five minutes of the game, putting the Jackets on top 35-28. Starkville managed to keep their home winning streak alive, but the Jaguars look to bounce back for homecoming. Well, we've got to avoid all the distractions, that's for sure, uh, because it doesn't get any easier. We've got a tough Grenada opponent coming into our place next week, and uh, like I said, we've got to get these mistakes fixed and move on.